sink. That's optimum hit position. Former player, Coach Bobby Hosea, is leading the movement to teach proper tackling at all levels of football. So he's going to explode his hips, keep your hands on your back, explode your hips to the top of the numbers, and get some air and tell me how many fingers. Woo! Lord have mercy! How many? Two. Two. Do it again. <laughs> Where did his head go, Coach? Did he go to the side? Did he go down? Did he go to the side? It went up. How many years you want to play in the NFL? He wants to play 15 years. Where's your head going to go with every tackle? He said, up. Oh. Amen. Are ready? Yeah. Say it like I'm going to say it with some enthusiasm and intensity. Okay. Hard work. Feels good. Feels good. Smart plus tough equals what? Win. You play smart, you play tough, you do what? Win. Gotta bring some to get some. Who wants some? Me. Dirty, sweaty, tired, and sore. I'm What's it gonna take? Oh what do we need? Oh what you gonna give? Oh Knock it loose on me. Knock it loose on three. One, two, three. All right, let's get a water. Football season is starting for young players across Southern California. Parents and coaches are looking for ways to prevent concussions. CBS 2's Rick Garcia shows us a local tackling camp which teaches kids a 12-step safety technique. He sounds like a drill sergeant. Don't drop your head. Barking out commands. Right foot and hold. Watch these two guys. Wings. Back toe. Sink. Slam down. Explode those hips. Hip boom. Good. I don't want the head to go down. Reinforcing tackling techniques that could keep someone from getting seriously hurt. The way you tackle, which will keep you safe. Okay, there's no accidents. Brain injuries are not accidents. People get paralyzed in football, it's not an accident. Bobby Hosea is the founder and coach of Train Em Up Academy, a tackling camp that teaches kids a 12-step tackling method. The one-time UCLA defensive back who played professionally in Canada and the U.S. Football League created his tackling program back in 1997. In 2011, a study was done on his method. There was a scientific research study done on my tackling technique. It showed a 43% reduction in helmet first impact. That was 100% of the crown. That's where all the problems are. You take the crown out of the tackle, you take out a multitude of injuries. Take a look at this hit. Jadavian Clowney making a direct hit with the crown of his helmet. The way you tackle, which will keep you safe. Okay, there's no accidents. Brain injuries are not accidents. People get paralyzed in football, it's not an accident. Here's why these tackling camps are so important. No helmet can protect you from brain, neck, or spinal cord injury. It's how you play. It is that focus on safety that drew some 150 people to the LA 84 Foundation and a special youth sports conference on football head trauma. And should children even be playing tackle football? We're in our third crisis now, and it's the concussion crisis. And I hope we can kind of understand a little bit about what's going on with this injury. Dr. Robert Cantu is one of the foremost authorities on traumatic brain injury and has authored over 379 scientific publications and written some 32 books, including Concussions and Our Kids. He clearly understands the danger of blows to the head, especially to kids. Bobby's here and I love what he's done with the tackling for youngsters. Technique is a huge thing if taught properly, can avoid a lot of unnecessary head trauma. Much of it happens with poor technique. Our role or my role as medical director at USA Football is to hopefully promote a better, safer game. And as we've implemented the Heads Up Football Tackling uh, program, which has fit uh, just along with uh, Bobby's program, which I think is awesome. More inventive things like Bobby has done, that's what we need, I believe. We, we just can't be doing it with live bodies. The, the price is too high to pay. The trauma team came out and explained to me what was going on, said that he had broken his neck. Before the game even started, I was with my girlfriend at the time. I just had this weird feeling that something was going to happen. She was really good to me. Like the first few months this happened, but I guess she got kind of bored. And she just didn't want to be confined. We just went our separate ways. There are several people's lives that were affected by that one play. When I was in, um, ICU, I flatlined twice. We almost lost Chris on three separate occasions. I went to rehab in Dallas, and I spent six months in a rehab facility away from home. I got a feeding tubes in my stomach. 
that they would have to feed me through until I relearned how to swallow them. I think about the children that are paralyzed, these little boys, and I think about their parents. And I can only imagine the first thought is, I can't die now. I can't die now. Because who's gonna look out for him if I'm gone? That's what we're talking about. So every time you go into a pile with your head down, you're really playing Russian roulette with your life, with your health, with your well-being. Every time. Football is not violent. Football is physical. It's only violent when you use your helmet as a weapon. The way that we've been tackling and all kinds of people have tackled, I'm surprised we haven't had more stretchers out here. I guess we just got lucky. We've been getting lucky. There's time to have a standardized tackling progression all across the board. Right now, tackling is a Heinz 57 approach. Whatever your grandfather taught your dad, that's what he taught you, so that's what you're teaching them. But we know now that's antiquated. There's things that are dangerous. So number one is educate the coaches. The best teachers are great students first. I learned to keep my head up and to rip and not wrap. Not to use my head in the tackle. He teaches how to tackle and dip and rip. Other kids should come to this camp because you can tackle correctly so you won't get a brain injury in football. Keep your head up so you don't break your neck. Clearly tackle football is at a crossroads and concussion is the primary reason for that crossroads. If we don't get concussions under control, the game of football is going to go away. We can do better. We must do better. We will do better. Thank you. We're going to do it again, but we're going to do it what? Better! And coming soon, my helmet-free tackle safety and performance training course to educate parents, players, and coaches on how to play safe, effective tackle football and reduce the risk of concussions, neck and spinal cord injuries. Save our game one player at a time.